Hi friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna. If you are new here, I am excited to do a monthly reset video specifically for the month of October. Right now it is September 28th, so we are nearing the very end of September and we are almost at my now new favorite month of the year. It used to be July. I am a big summertime girl. I love the summer. I was born in the summer, but October then became my wedding anniversary month and then shortly after became the month that I had my baby boy Henry in. So now October gets to be the new favorite month. July is shortly following though. So I am really excited to hop into this today. The agenda for today's video is we're first going to cover an annual goal check-in, just see where we're doing in terms of 2023's goals as a whole. Then we're gonna do a September reflection. We are going to look back at September's goals. Then we are going to set new goals for October and then do a little October forecast of what we have coming right around the bend. So let's get into it. Okay, first things first, let's look at my Notion pages for each of these goals. So first, let's get into our annual goal page. So I have set 25 goals for the year, and I actually read a productivity book after this that said to set no more than 10 goals for the year, and I definitely overshot it. So first, I created goals in the career, finance, health, personal, and travel categories. For career, the first goal was to achieve a 45K billing month. This was back when I was in sales, so I've actually transitioned careers this year. In the month of May, I switched from sales to digital marketing as my primary position. I was doing a half and half role where I was half doing digital marketing, half doing sales. Now I'm on 100% sales or sorry, 100% digital marketing at a new company. So that goal is no longer relevant, but I did achieve that before leaving in terms of income. So with sales numbers and my guarantee, I made the equivalent of what this would have been. So I'm giving it to myself. I'm going ahead and checking this off as done. And the next is to post 52 YouTube videos. My goal was to post one YouTube video every week on Sunday. And I did fall off of this just a bit. I believe the total is hovering around 30 right now. So I'm going to continue posting on Sundays and throw in bonus videos whenever I can, but we may not hit this by the end of the year. Qualify for YouTube's paid partner program. That was a huge goal of mine for this year. Right now I'm sitting at 998 subscribers. So two more to go. And I've already hit the watch time hour goal. So we just need those two more and then I can apply and fingers crossed get accepted for it. So we're almost at that. Give my personal websites a makeover was a huge goal for the year, which I have not done yet. And then learn digital marketing skills, just building up my repertoire. And I actually ended up switching my career into this. So I would definitely consider that one achieved. So onto the finances, the first goal was to sell Paul's car and to replenish our emergency fund with that amount. We did do that in the very beginning of the year in February. The second is to bring in a certain amount in passive income, though that is still an ongoing goal. Contribute the max amount to our Roth IRAs. We are pacing to complete this. Save a certain amount towards a large vacation. We ended up planning a new vacation we weren't expecting for next year. So we're actually doing two vacations next year. We're pacing right now for it just fine. So that's kind of a tentative question mark. We're not going to hit the exact amount that I put in here at the beginning of the year, but I don't think that we're going to need to do that amount and then save a certain amount towards a home down payment. We are on our way towards this amount. Again, we won't hit the exact number I set at the beginning of the year, but we're still progressing towards this. We ended up moving, which was an unexpected thing that happened in June. I did not expect to move in the year of 2023 but we did. And so this isn't as urgent of a goal. This was with the thought of we would go from our town home to then purchasing a home. So that was more of an urgent goal. And so it's still a goal, but it's more of a long-term goal now that we are renting in a home that um, sizes for us really well. In the health category, I have bring my weight down to a certain zone. My husband thinks that this should not be a goal whatsoever. He said, why is that even a goal at all? You shouldn't even be focusing on weight. For me, for my own, you know, self-satisfaction, confidence, I like to see a certain number on the scale. And so I just have that in mind, but I have not hit that yet, but I feel totally fine and confident in my skin. So maybe he's right. Maybe I should just kick this off as a goal. 
The second was to rejoin CrossFit, which I did in January. The third was to take aerial classes again, which I did in March, but I actually have fallen back off of, so I don't know if I should uncheck this goal. But I went to three aerial classes and then I stopped going regularly, so I definitely need to do it again. Create a Sabbath rest routine on Sundays. I do have a Sabbath rest routine, but it's actually more consistently on Saturdays. And then swap beauty products for non-toxic alternatives. I have been doing this progressively every month. As I've been running out of a beauty product, product I research and find a non-toxic clean alternative. And this has been working really well for me. So I think that this will be a check by the end of the year. For the personal categories, I had to read 60 books. I am at 33. So I did pace a little bit behind this because of all the life changes that happened during summer. But I am back now to reading around eight books a month. So I think I'll hit this by the end of the year. Build a capsule wardrobe. This isn't as high of a priority as it was at the very start of the year. I was really into the minimalist capital capsule wardrobe thing. I do still want all of my pieces to coordinate with each other. I don't want there to be this big disjointed feeling with my wardrobe, but just minimizing it isn't as much of a priority as it once was. Then the third goal was actually to learn calligraphy. This is just a skill I wanted to do with bullet journaling. I'm not into bullet journaling as much as I thought I would be at the beginning of the year, but I did get calligraphy pens. I just haven't really practiced much. So this, we can see it being checked off by the end of the year. The fourth, fourth is to be present with Henry and to record his milestones, a goal that I am currently achieving. And then the fourth is to be the one to initiate a relationship, it's just kind of more of an intention than a goal, but I just wanted to be the one to reach out and to put that responsibility on my own shoulders, which I feel like I have been doing um, throughout the year. So in the travel category, I have will visit one national park. And so that was a big priority of mine. And I actually did. I intended to go to Yosemite, but we didn't, haven't gone to Yosemite yet, which has been funny because it's actually two hours away from us, but I did end up going to the Indiana Dunes on a work trip. So I did end up seeing one national park this year. Travel to see our fourth world wonder. This is not going to happen, but we're hoping to make this happen next year with our trip to Rio and then make three trips to Oregon to see family. We have made two trips specifically to Oregon, but we've made four trips so far this year to see my husband's side of the family. Um, and then we'll make our third trip over the holidays. So this will be checked. Go paragliding. I wanted to do this over my birthday. This one company I keep trying to book with is very weather dependent. And I called them twice. They said that they would call me when the weather is good and in order to go kind of like an on-call system. And then I've never received a call and I tried calling them two different times. So maybe it's just not meant to be with this one company and I'm meant to do it elsewhere, but I don't know if this is gonna happen at the end of the year because now it's getting colder. So question mark on that goal. Explore locally. I do feel like I've been doing this. We've been doing a lot more hiking and on trails that we haven't been on. So I definitely feel like that goal is being achieved so far this year. Okay, so now that we've gone over the goals for 2023 and where we're currently tracking, now let's get into September reflection. It was a good month. It was a full month. It was the start of fall. It still feels like summer though, for the most part. I think the last week started really feeling a little bit chilly. The beginning of the month started off with us going to the great Reno balloon races as a family. That was the first time my husband and I had attended and we brought our little baby boy. That was so stunning and beautiful. Even with our 3 a.m. wake up call, we really, really enjoyed that. We also went to a local farmer's market in the month of September. We went on lots of hikes. Um, while the weather has still been good, we put Henry in his little hiking backpack for the first time. So that's been a lot of fun to take him. We have revived our date night tradition and made that on Thursdays, which has been really fun. And we've been filling out this adventure book that we got for the holidays. So that was a huge intention of mine for the month. I also went to Indiana for teen days on last weekend. So that was super fun, flew into Chicago and went and enjoyed team days there um, and spent four days in Chicago slash Northern Indiana. So that was kind of the rough overview of the month. I am really excited to head into more fall weather and fall tr traditions in the month of October. Now I would love to take you through my Notion page for the month of September. So the word of the month was dedicate. Dedicate meaning to, as a verb, to devote time, effort, or oneself to a particular task or purpose. 
my effort was mostly focused on rededicating myself towards my annual goals, which during the summer life transitions had kind of fallen out of focus. So the verse of the month was from Psalm 138.8, the Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. And then the quote of the month was by Helen Hunt Jackson, by all these lovely tokens, September days are here with summer's best of weather and autumn's best of cheer. My three intentions for the month was I want to establish a regular date night. I want to rededicate myself toward my annual goals and I want to make room for fall events and memories. I feel like all three intentions I kept at the forefront of my mind, which is good because I review these goals daily. Okay, so now let's get into goals. So first in the work category, I am going to split these in the future into career-based goals, goals that have to do with my career as a digital marketing specialist and then what I'm calling side quest goals. So goals that have to do with creative outlets like YouTube or like writing, creative writing, anything that has to do with the creative outlet that is kind of a passion project that has not yet turned into a decent income, but has the potential to, I'm just gonna separate them into two different categories since there are two different mindsets. For the time being, I have created two goals related to YouTube in this category, which I'm just labeling as work, but in the future, I'm going to divide it. And so let's go through all of these and check off the ones that we have accomplished for the month. So in the work category, I created the goal to post seven YouTube videos for the month. I saw that my yearly goal was to post 52. I fell off the bandwagon around June, July when a lot of life changes were happening. And so in order to achieve that, I had to start posting two videos per week. Realistically, that wasn't really going to happen. And so I think I'm just gonna go back to the once a week on Sundays routine. So that is going to be more consistently attainable. So I, first I vlogged the last weekend of summer and I posted that. I also posted 10 first birthday ideas for baby boys. I also posted a vlog of us going to the Reno hot air balloon races and I am doing this October monthly reset right now. So that finishes out the videos that I posted for the month of September. Now the second goal was to qualify for YouTube's paid partner program. I am two subscribers away, so we are so, so close. I'm going to leave that unchecked though since we have not yet accomplished it. So for the financial category, the first goal was to roll over retirement accounts into a Roth IRA. This has been on my financial to-do list for so many months now. And September was not the month that we accomplished it, unfortunately. So that is just gonna have to hover over into next month. The second was to start budgeting with cash envelopes. We actually did do this for the month of September. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that off. And mostly we're just doing our food budget through the cash envelope system. So specifically groceries, eating out, drinks, um, all of that is through cash. And so, Anything else is a little bit un impractical to do for cash. The second, the third goal was to save a certain amount into our home fund, which we did. This involved transferring our security deposit check from our previous place into our home fund, which we did. And then the last goal was to book our Brazil hotel for our vacation next year, which we have not done. So that will be next month's goal. In the personal category, I had the goal to read eight books and I am on the final two right now. So I read Between Two Kingdoms, Crown of Midnight, Green Lights, Love in Other Words, The Wicked King, The Diamond Eye, which for me was a five-star read, one of the few of the year. I really, really enjoyed that. I love Kate Quinn's work in historical fiction. It is so good. So good. Set the Stars Alight, I am currently reading, and Queen of Nothing, I am currently reading. And so we'll go ahead and accomplish that and check that off as a goal achieved. Filling out Henry's memory book to date, I have not done that um, yet <laughs> because there are still photos I need to print for that. I have been doing kind of monthly recaps um, on Instagram for the most part that I will then convert over to his memory book um, so that we have something a little bit more permanent to hold on to. So I just need to go ahead and do that. 
For the health category, I created a lot of goals, so <laughs> many of which I did not achieve. So I thought I was going to be very health minded at the beginning of the month and that ended up being very low on the totem pole. So let's go through these. So getting a massage, I did not end up doing. Going to the chiropractor, I also did not end up doing. Learning how to do double unders. So I go to CrossFit and this is a kind of staple movement that is in a lot of workouts. Um, and I did not end up practicing that, but I did end up ordering a jump rope. So I am halfway, I'm on my way to accomplishing that goal. The next was to do one pistol squat on each leg. That is for a fitness level that I want to test into by the end of the year. Um, I did not end up practicing those, although I do think I'm pretty close to having one on each leg. I know I have one on my stronger leg, so squatting with the right leg, but I don't think I have it on the other side. So we still need to practice that. Seeing a certain amount on the scale, not the most ideal to focus on weight as a goal, but that has not been achieved. <laughs> but I also have not been weighing myself this month. So it's possible it's been achieved, but probably not because I've been very, very consistent. For the last few months, there was kind of this big old drop after I had my son Henry, and then it has just been very consistent. So I feel like I'm still probably within that same range. And then attend seven CrossFit classes in the month. So I did, or I'm on my way. Yes, I have to do the one tomorrow. And then I would have accomplished attending seven CrossFit classes for the month of September. And then very specific, order a non-toxic eyebrow pencil alternative. So like I said, as I've been running out of certain beauty products, I have been replacing them with non-toxic alternatives. And so this is just the next thing that I have run out of. I have already switched over my eyeshadow and right now I use eyeshadow on my eyebrows. And so as when I replace what I use for my eyebrows, I can get rid of this eyeshadow palette that I have. So that is the logic behind that goal specifically. And then the last goal right here, hovering down where we cannot see it, is to travel, is to travel um, to the September team day trip, which I went on. So total for the month, we have achieved six and we missed 11 goals. So now let's move over to the month of October. So October is was really fun to set up. It is definitely my new favorite month um, with my wedding anniversary and then baby's first birthday all being within the same month. How could it not be my favorite? Also, all the fall glory is included. I am just a summer weather girl at heart. So that is the only thing that is the only downside of October is that it is beginning the cold months and the cold months make me sad girl. So <laughs> that isn't the funnest, but for October, the word of the month I chose was relish and not like the condiment, but like the verb to enjoy something immensely. So specifically the first word that came to mind was enjoy. I just wanted to enjoy the month, but I was like, enjoy doesn't feel like it's big enough. And so relishing in something means to enjoy it immensely. And that feels like the scale that I needed for the month of October. The verse of the month was from Nehemiah 810, go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is holy to our Lord. Do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. I think that's just beautiful in terms of, it makes me think of all of the baking that I do for this season and just giving some to those who have nothing prepared. It's just a beautiful imagery of kind of hosting and hospitality. I love it for the month. And then the quote of the month is from Alexander Smith, in the entire circle of the year, there are no days so delightful as those of a fine October. The three intentions I set for the month is I want to bake fall recipes and share with others. I want to fully enjoy Henry's first birthday and our fifth wedding anniversary, and I want to focus on living above the line of choice. The line of choice has to do with a leadership cohort that I am a part of. And it is kind of a lengthy explanation. So if you're interested in hearing about the line of choice, maybe I'll go into that in a future video. Maybe I'll just give a recap of what I've learned in this leadership cohort because it has been very self-development focused and I've gotten a lot out of it. Okay, so with that, let's get into the goals that I set for the month of October. So for career, like I said, I developed, I switched it from work to then career and side quests. So for career, I want to add value to every work meeting that I'm a part of. I want to post industry relevant articles on LinkedIn, and I want to regularly shout, shout out my coworkers' wins. So mostly just around, you know, communication, positivity, um, shouting others out, staying caught up in the industry and adding value is where I want to focus within my career for the month of October. For side quests, 
I want to create unique content for Reels, Shorts, and TikToks and find the unique identity that I have on each of those. The second is to post one YouTube vid video each week on Sunday. And then the third is to finally, once and for all, <laughs> qualify for YouTube's paid partner program. This will be accomplishing a massive goal that I have for the year and will feel so fulfilling once it is accomplished. For the personal goal category, I have filling out Henry's memory book to date. And I put the, the goals in red that are like top, top priority. Like they have been on my list for a few months. And so I just want to check them off and see them go. <laughs> it is time. So I put them in red so that I would immediately zone in on them. Um, and then read eight books for the month so that I can accomplish 60 books by the end of the year. For finances, I have rolled over past retirement accounts into our Roth IRA and book our Brazil hotel. So a lot fewer financial goals, but I have not reset my budget yet for the month, for the new month. And so as there may be specific savings goals, I might put them in here as bonuses. And then for health, take vitamin C and D every night before bed. I just want to do this preventatively for flu season to boost my immune system. Practice double unders in the backyard before it gets too cold. So I ordered this jump rope, but it's not going to be helpful if I can't actually practice them outside if it gets really freezing. So I'm going to do it before it gets too cold. Attend CrossFit every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then order that non-toxic eyebrow pencil <laughs> wherever we may find that. Such a specific goal. Um, and then this, I decided to transfer the name of travel goals to new experiences because my heart behind the travel goals is to create something that I feel like I'm checking off bucket list items for. And so this will mostly have to relate. And I put a description beneath each to kind of uh, trigger mentally what it's for. And so this fuels my need for growth and variety, focusing on travel and bucket list items. So start planning our Brazil vacation and spend the fall, our fall weekend at Mammoth with our family, which is a trip that we have upcoming, just a four day little staycation at Mammoth, which is two and a half hours away from us. So that'll be a fun little cozy fall staycation. I'm so excited for it. So those are all the October goals that I have set for the new month. Okay, so with all of that said, now let's look at what is coming around the bin for the month of October. There's a lot of fun that is coming in the month of October. October 1st, we're starting it off strong by going on a trip to Apple Hill, which is in California near us around, I think a two hour drive away. And it is, it is a tradition that we do every October and it is so much fun and the next weekend the 7th and 8th don't have anything big planned um i think i'm doing a a candle making workshop with two of my girlfriends so we're gonna do that that'll be fun the next weekend is henry's first birthday party so we are so excited to celebrate with our family and friends on that saturday it'll be a lot of fun and then the weekend following is the 21st so that's my husband and i's fifth wedding anniversary I am very excited for that. We don't have any set plans yet. We probably won't go on a trip. In the past, we have gone on trips with a baby that's a little bit harder, but we may either do a staycation, a night over somewhere. Last year, nope, last year was, we had just had Henry. So we didn't, we, didn't, we had sushi in and that was glorious. But the year before we had a little staycation in Tahoe. So that was super fun. So we may do something along those lines, just something easy and nearby. And then the weekend after that, we have this mammoth trip with my full family. So that'll be really fun. Summer within the month is we're going to do Oktoberfest. We always celebrate Oktoberfest as a family. We have a lot of German roots in our family. And so we have bratwurst, we play German music. We have a full, we have full Oktoberfest at um, our house. So at my parents' house. So that is a lot of fun. We'll do that at some point. And then we'll probably host my family over here for trick-or-treating. This neighborhood that we moved into is prime trick-or-treating territory. So we are going to, you know, host people over and they can go out and go trick-or-treating. We probably won't go with Henry. I mean, maybe we will. Um, he's not going to be eating any of the candy, so it's a little bit odd to go trick-or-treating when we have no other kids, but maybe we'll just like go down the street and get a few like Reese's and Kit Kats or whatever. <laughs> that will be the month of October. I am really excited and looking forward to it. Okay, so with all that said, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I am so happy and grateful that you did. If you liked it, please remember to give it just a little thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel for content that is similar to this. Thank you again so, so much for watching, friends. I will catch you in the next video. Bye!